6.30 ish, maybe closer to seven. Um, and this is a totally unplanned, completely impromptu, get ready with me, chit chat video. I'm getting ready to go out for New Year's Eve. And I thought, you know what? I don't have a vlog planned for tomorrow because we're on a week delay schedule here for vlogs. And so the first vlog of 2017 won't go up until next Sunday, the 8th. So I didn't want to leave you guys with nothing. Wait, I need a headband. My hair keeps getting in my, these little fuzzies around my head and they're getting in my moisturizer. Okay, so what can I do? So then I thought, hey, let's just do an old school, prop the camera on a foundation cap in my makeup collection. Let's get to do a chit chat, get ready with me. So that's what we're doing. I washed all my brushes, not all, I washed a lot of my brushes today. So hopefully some of them are actually dry. Otherwise, it's gonna be very short, get ready with me, because I don't have anything to put my makeup on. It'll turn into the no brushes challenge. This is the foundation that isn't out on the market yet. See, look, it even says, there it is, not for sale. Some years I've done like a New Year's video, resolutions, etc. So I guess we could do that right now while we're here together. I haven't really given it a lot of thought. Um, I don't know, basically because I make the same resolutions every year and then I don't really stick to them. So I sort of thought, well, this is stupid. I might as well just give up on them. One resolution I make every year, which may surprise some of you who don't know me in real life, is I will stop cursing because I don't curse here on YouTube. And it's not even something I need to make an effort to think about. It, the words don't come out of my mouth ever, but in real life, like a freaking sailor, I have the worst potty mouth. I mean, I don't curse in front of young children usually, but I have been known to drop an F-bomb or two. And I just, I, it's terrible. I think it's, I am not a fan of cursing. I really think it's classless and it makes you sound ignorant. It makes me sound ignorant. And I don't like it when other people do it. So I don't understand why I do it and I do it. Not in inappropriate situations, I mean in a... Mimi! We'll talk about that. We will talk about that situation in a second, but I mean, if I'm in a business meeting or if I'm sitting, you know, in the principal's office talking to, you know, the principal of the high school about something or, you know, I would never be like, well, F you, you know, I mean, it's just, no, but, you know, casual conversation, uh, yes. So, <sighs> all right, let's talk about Screaming Mimi, um, which is funny. That's the name of a movie and uh, we can have that movie poster hanging in our game room for in Mimi's honor, Screaming Mimi. So that's a new development. She and Rowdy were thick as thieves, mostly because Wrigley hated him and would not acknowledge that Rowdy existed. Well, <laughs> now Wrigley, I don't know if Wrigley likes him, but at least he is acknowledging his existence and they play and Mimi gets jealous and she just stands on the sidelines and barks at them. And by barking, I mean shrieking like a fishmonger and it's horrible. Mimi has the worst bark ever. By the way, this is clay de po concealer. I'm just rubbing my finger on the top and then kind of just patting it in where it needs to go. And this is, um, Matte Prep and Prime, just kind of sitting in the corners here where I have darkness. Anyway, it's really irritating and Mimi is not making any friends with the humans in their family by doing that. She needs to just jump in and play with the boys. Okay, so other resolutions. I like to say resolutions and goals. I would like to add more physical activity to my life. I make a lot more videos, blog posts, etc. in 2016 than I did previously, which is great. But that means I sit around a lot more on my tush. And um, I really would like to be more 
fit. I have lost a pretty good amount of weight for my frame. And I did that by severely, not severely, but cutting back on how much I ate. I had a long chat with my endocrinologist and I just flat out asked him, what do you recommend, how do you recommend losing weight? And he said, eat less. As Americans, generally, we eat more than we should. You know, eat like normal and just really take a good look at what you're eating for about a week, write it down, take careful notes, and then really analyze it and compare it to what a healthy portion size is. And I realized I was consuming about twice as much calories as I should be eating in a day. This was going in a direction I didn't mean it to go. Um, the, uh, this, a lot of people have been asking how I, that they've noticed I've lost weight and how I did it. Um, the other thing is that what I've been eating has changed. Obviously, I started to lose a, a weight and then Shane got sick and all that worry and stress kicked it up a notch. That was not intentional, but you know, the results were great. Um, I am not following a paleo diet. I wish I could say that I was being diligent, Michael is, but um, I'm not. I love dairy. I am from the upper Midwest. You cannot ask a girl from the upper Midwest to drop dairy. Seriously, there was a still functioning dairy farm like two miles from where I grew up, no. So I still have some dairy, not very much, mostly just cheese. When I felt the beginnings of feeling full, you just stop eating. No matter how good the food is, stop eating. Anyway, so knowing that I was only gonna eat a certain amount in one sitting, or a certain amount of food at one time, I thought, all right, do I wanna waste my calories on crap, or do I wanna eat something good? Good for me, or really just good tasting? So I found myself choosing healthier food to eat than junk. So, you know, I'd say, all right, we're out to eat. I've got this menu of anything I could put in my mouth. Do I want to choose like a, just something junky or wow, look at that really healthy salad that actually became more appealing to me. So I noticed just very gradually over time that I naturally started eating less and I naturally started gravitating toward healthier choices. And it's not even, it's just second nature. So that's what's been going on there. While I have lost weight and I am very happy, I don't intend on losing any more weight. I'm happy with where I am. Um, I would like to just be more physically fit. I think it's, you know, cardiovascularly and all that good stuff. So Michael and I started to do a little bit of hiking this year and then kind of tapered off, got a little busy and things, but I would like to make it more of a priority. Um, Rowdy isn't yet able to go for walks because he's not fully immunized, just like a baby. But um, as soon as he is, which will be towards the end of January, we would like to start taking him out for real walks in the neighborhood. And then, um, and then eventually hiking. He can't do strenuous hiking until his growth plates have closed, like 12 to 15 months old, but he can go on, you know, like just nice nature walks, not up steep inclines. And we can leave him at home for the steeper, more difficult things. It'll be harder to convince Michael to leave him at home. Michael would take him everywhere, like a lap dog if he could, but um, we don't want him to get hurt. We have signed Rowdy up for puppy kindergarten starting in, Jan in yeah, towards the end of January. So that's exciting. Um, Rowdy's humongous. He's like 25 pounds already. And he's lean, like you can still see his ribs, but the, you know, we're trying to feed him and he, way that is recommended by the breeder and the vet to have a, like a slow growth so that he doesn't um, grow too fast, his bones develop at a nice steady pace and he doesn't, big dogs are prone to a disease I can't pronounce. It's, I think it's OCD, but the whole long word is, I can't pronounce it. And um, painful joints, it's horrible. So the way to avoid that is a slower growth. And, uh, He's still, I mean, 25 pounds. He came home, he was 15, 16 pounds. Hasn't even been, but yeah, I guess it's been a month. He's been home a month. Um, he's freaking huge. It's all legs, like legs, head, giant teeth. Um, I'm trying Park Avenue Princess. It's been a while. I brought that out when I was doing my bronze sort of decluttering, which didn't go well, but 
It's more like here's my bronzer collection and here's four bronzers I'm getting rid of. Um, so I guess taking Rowdy to be trained is part of that physical activity to some degree. I'm piling on the bronzer because I'm pale, it's at night, we'll be in like candlelight or something, so. Bronze that sucker up. Other resolutions, physical activity, curse less, let's be real. Let's make these attainable goals, not never curse, just curse less. And then of course I mentioned in my December favorites video, 100,000 subscribers, which it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I mean, it's just not gonna happen. And that's okay, but you know, girls got the dream. It's all right. Um, sorry, cover girl. I really love this blush. I really love it. My plan is to recreate a look I did earlier this month. Actually, I'm act even wearing the same outfit. It was when I went to that holiday dinner for our athletic association with the matte, just warm brown crease and then um, glitter on the eyes. But I wanna try the new glitter pigments, or I don't know what this is, Stardust Starlet Powder from Makeup Forever. I wanna give those a go. So hopefully that works. But first, eyebrows. It's not like a fancy dinner. I'm just wearing a, the same, like I said, the same outfit, just that loft sweater with the lace sleeves and the flare kind of corduroy shimmery pants. You know, semi-elegant. And it's New Year's Eve, so you know, anything goes. I could be covered in glitter. I don't think anyone would look twice. But the NYX brow gel, that's the, just bought a new one. Love it. Can you hear the thumping in the background? I hope not, but if you can, Shane is also getting ready for his evening out and he <laughs> is blasting. We got him a big Bluetooth speaker and he is blasting it. Blasting. I don't know what he's listening to, but the bass is jacked up. Um, I am using Urban Decay eyeshadow primer that has the like shimmer to it in sin. That's what it's called. And I don't want to use because it's in, the, oh no, I can't tell you because you haven't seen the video yet. It's in a video that will be up tomorrow. Yeah. Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Modern Renaissance. Kind of want to get the other one, the Master by Mario or whatever, but I feel like there's very similar shades. So if anyone has this palette and the Mario Master by Mario, you know what I'm talking about. Is it worth getting both of these? Please tell me. What am I gonna use? I'm gonna use a warm taupe shade and I'm gonna pray to God that these are dry. Yes. These are dry because I washed them with rubbing alcohol and then sprayed them with the Cosmetics brush spray. So the beauty of that is they, there was no water involved. And so they evaporate. So warm taupe with an old school Sigma SS217. I think that is now an E. Something. 35, I don't know. Put it in the description box tomorrow. Just put that in there. Like so. Okay, so I came up with a new, I didn't come up with this, but I thought of a way to blend this out. That's kind of fun. So I'm not pulling it down at all. I'm pretty much just pulling it straight out and I'm not blending it. I'll show you why. In a moment. Do, do, do. Sticking a little to that primer potion or Urban Decay, whatever it's called. I usually prefer my Wet n Wild, but I want that shimmer because I'm using glitter. Now I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and I'm gonna use Raw Sienna. Yep, make sure it's really kind of brushed off on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use that to blend it out. So I get that kind of halo of warmth over it. Yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Go in with tempura. No, I'm, can you tell I'm hungry? Not tempura, tempura. No, not deep fried Japanese food, Marnie. Speaking of deep fried Japanese food, Michael and I have watched six episodes, I believe, of the Man in the High Castle. 
obsessed, absolutely obsessed and disturbed. It's a very disturbing movie. Not movie, uh, TV series. TV series? I guess it's a TV series. It's a series on Amazon Prime. Okay, now for the fun part. I am gonna need some glitter glue. When I ordered from Too Faced for the Sweet Glow palette, I'm gonna do a very short extra video in January, like on a non-normal day, to talk about that palette. But included in that was uh, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter version, but I think it's sitting on my desk. So instead I have what I bought, which is the NYX Glitter Primer. When you're using glitter on your eyelids, it is nice to use a glitter primer. NYX is cheap as chips, as they say in the UK, and it is best to use a synthetic brush and a concealer brush is great. So I just put a little on the back of my hand, a little on the brush, and then I'm just gonna tap it where I want the glitter. Tap, 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 tap. And the glitter powder I wanna use is number, I don't know what the hell, I'll put it in the description box. It's like an icy gold. Not a fan of the delivery system. Like, how do you get this out? I don't know. Whoa, too much. See, like now what? What do I do with all that? Okay, so. I mean, seriously, this is gonna end. We know how this is gonna end, right? Oh, ooh, oh. Can you see that? That is so cool. Why am I whispering? Okay, patting that all over where I put the glitter primer, which is basically glue for your face. Who is opening the door? Is that a person or a dog? It's a person. Okay, still padding. It's like a 70 minute video. It's a feature film. Hi, Rowdy. Rambunctious Rowdy. That's what we should call you. This is cool. This isn't so much glitter. This isn't really glittery, which I actually like. It's just really um, intensely shimmery, is what I would say. We will blend later, and I wanna warm this up a little bit more in the crease, but wow, that is sweet. That is cool. Okay, glitter glue, side two. I see you. I see your little brain working. A little bit of a raw sienna underneath. Whoa, that's a little much. What the? What? What are you doing, Marn? You look a little silly. Um, I know since. I don't want to get sidetracked again. The other thing I really want to talk about is you guys. Because I say it fairly often, but I want to make sure I say it again. And that is, thank you. If it weren't for all of you watching, I would just be sitting here talking to myself. And I don't know if you realize how appreciated you all are, but you really, really, really are. And all of my dreams and all of my goals and all of my hopes just wouldn't come true without your love, your support, your confidence in me, your encouragement. So I just want to thank you. It's, it's some, I really and truly believe that it's a journey we go on here together. And I am so grateful, really and truly grateful for this community we share together. And I can't thank you enough. I really and truly cannot. It's, it's just, I mean, from everything for like advice for product I'm looking for to the outpouring of sympathy and love when Bosley died to the, just letting us know you were there when we talked about Shane's illness. It's just, or when we said goodbye to Jake, just leaving for university, not like he was dying, but for those of you who could sympathize having someone leave for a child leave for school, 
you know, sharing these personal milestones. I know not every YouTuber is comfortable doing that, but I just couldn't keep that part of my life separate. So I choose to let you guys in a lot more than is probably wise. And um, I wouldn't have it any other way. I really wouldn't. And I really value, I know I'm not looking at you just because I'm looking for that freaking liquid liner, but um, I really value, I value that. I value all the wonderful positive things that have come from you all. It is worth putting up with the infinitesimally, statistically small amount of not so wonderful. Um, so, I thank you. So speaking of negative, all I'm gonna say on that is, it's taken me six and a half years, but all I'm gonna do is going forward, because I know, I know that it annoys so many of you when I address it, is that I'm no longer addressing it. Just gonna delete and block. That's all there is to it. Cause it's just not, there's really no other way to handle it. Um, so that's that. That's the end of that. And I don't care if it seems cowardly or that I'm avoiding it. There's just really no other way to deal with it. And it's not fair for anyone to have to see that kind of garbage that goes on. So if you wanna rip on me or attack me or my family, go. Go, there's, there's gossip sites for that. Knock yourself out. Don't bring it on my channel. So that's all I'm gonna say on that. I'm gonna delete you, I'm gonna block you, and I don't really care how you interpret that. Okay, moving on. We're almost done. Just slap it on the mascara. I am starting with Lancome Grandiose, but I think I think I'm gonna switch over second coat to um, Chanel because I was wearing it the other night and Michael asked me if I was wearing false eyelashes. So, uh, when your husband notices something like that, you know what, I already smeared my liner. Seriously, ugh. I cannot, like, why do I do this to myself? Why can I not accept? that I just cannot do liquid liner and uh, just not use it. What are some plans coming up? Well, okay, why did I just do that? I still need to clean up my under eye and I need to fix my liner. Brilliant, Marnie. You're just, what are you doing? Okay, you're just really on top of things today, aren't you? Back to Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Starting tomorrow with the best of Oh my god, you just unplugged my mirror. Ugh! Brownie! Yeah! We don't eat plugs. Okay, I love you. But no, we don't eat plugs. That's not fun. One. He, I bent, he, ugh! Rowdy ran under my desk, pulled the light out from the, the cord from the wall. When I bent over to plug it in, he pulled my scrunchie right out of my, this dog. It's crazy. Okay, where were we? If you're still here, Starting tomorrow, best of 2016 series. Tomorrow's video is best of beauty. Not sure which one I'm gonna load for Wednesday and Friday, but there'll be clothing, accessories, books, lifestyle. Thank you for hanging out with me while I did my makeup and I'll put on my lipstick right before I leave. So um, this, is, this is it, but thanks for hanging with me and let me know if you wanna see more of these, not as long, I promise, but I just wanted to kinda, I don't know, just have a little chit chat. Little girl talk without being the actual gold girl girl talk that'll be later in January. Speaking of which, let me know what topics you want to talk about in the comments below. Hope you had a wonderful, happy new year. Welcome to 2017. And hopefully you're here all year long. And I hope we get to celebrate all of 2017 together because I I have a good feeling it's gonna be a really good year. So thanks for watching and uh, stick around tomorrow. I'll see you in best of 2016 beauty. Till then, um, have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.